Welcome to Master Math. Here's a couple of tips to help you get the most out of these lessons. First of all, they're free. So you can watch it as many times as you need to understand the concept. Secondly, if I cover something and it's confusing to you still, hit your back button and look at it again. And third, when we come to a you try it problem, hit your pause key, try the problem on paper and pencil, and then hit your forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you enjoy yourself. Percentage. Percentage. Percentage? What, what, what's a percentage? Well, let me think. We studied this before. I think I remember. Percentage. Cent means like a penny, one one hundredth of a dollar. Percentage. That's per one hundred, isn't it? Yep. Percentage is per one hundred. And it's a useful uh, measure of things. And, and you'll learn to, to understand percentages really, really well. Somebody will tell you that 50% of the people in your class got A's. And you'll know that means half the people in the class got A's. Well, the first thing you need to remember is that for every percentage, there's an equivalent decimal and an equivalent fraction. And you need to know how to go back and forth between percentages, decimals, and fractions. So let's talk about that a little bit. If I had 25%, I know that equals 0.25 as a decimal, and I know it equals 25 over 100 as a fraction. How do I get it from a, uh, the percentage from a percentage to a decimal? Well, I just move the decimal place two to the left. It doesn't say 25 point, but if it doesn't say point, there is a decimal point there. If I move that decimal two to the left, 25% becomes 0 0.25. And how do I know that it's 25 over 100? Well, because it's 25 per cent. 25 per 100. Percent means per 100. So 25% is 25 over 100. Now, I probably want to simplify that fraction. 25 over 100. 25 goes into itself once. 25 goes into 100 four times. So it's equal to 1 fourth. Well, after we've become comfortable moving back and forth between percentages, decimals, and fractions, there's really one thing more we have to learn, and when we learn it, we'll pretty much be able to do every percentage problem we come across. And that one more thing you got to learn is the percentage equation. The percentage equation is A is P percent of W. A, well, A stands for a portion. Now, a portion, we could have called that P, but we're using a P there for percent, so we're going to call it A. A, a portion is some percent of W, and W is the whole. So in English, the percent equation is a portion is some percent of the whole. And that makes sense. But we need to convert that into math. And there's a couple of rules in math that will help us convert this or translate it into, into math. And math is, almost always means equals. A equals P percent of W. And percent of means that we're supposed to multiply. It means times. So we can rewrite that equation this way. A equals P times W. However, we got to remember that we can't list P as a percentage. We got to translate it into a decimal or a fraction. So, A equals P times W. A portion equals some percent times the whole. Okay. A portion equals some percent of the whole or times the whole. Well, let's try a problem. How much is 6% of 25? Well, see you see see it. I got a 6% to circle 
and I got a 25 to circle. And I know that that 6% has got to go there where we're asking for a percent. And 25, is it a part or is it a whole? Is it a portion or is it the whole thing? No, it's the whole thing because they're asking us how much would be a portion of 25, the whole. So let's substitute those in. And I rewrite this expression, A equals P times W, as A equals 0 0.06 times 25. And 0 0.06 times 25 is 1.5. So 1.5 is 6% of 25. Now, you notice I changed 6% to 0 0.06. And I think most of you remember how to do that. But for a quick review, let's remember this. 6% 6%. If I want to change it to a decimal, I move the decimal place 2 to the left. That leaves a blank space there, so I need to put a 0 there. So 6% equals 0 0.06. Here's another little trick. I want to find out what 0 0.06 times 25 equals. And I can do that in my head. How am I going to do that in my head? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is just forget all about that decimal point. Let's just ignore it. And let's change that to 6 times 25. Well, this is an easy thing to multiply if you remember that 6 equals 4 plus 2. So I can change 6 times 25 to 4 times 25, which is 100. And most of you can figure that out in your head. But then i got to add 2 times 25. And 2 times 25 is 50. So now I add 100 plus 50 and I get 150. But now I got to remember that decimal point. And it was two places. It was in the hundredth place. So I got to move my decimal point two places. And I get 1.5. 0 0.06 times 25 equals 1.5. Okay, well, we just did a problem where we solved for A. A equaled P times W. Well, let's, let's try some problems where they're asking you a different question. Maybe they're going to ask you what the percentage is. Or maybe they're going to ask you what the whole is. And they're going to ask you what the whole is, but they're going to tell you this and this. Could you solve for this if you knew this and this? Sure you can. It's algebra. Let's try one. 1. 1.5 is what percent of 25? Well, I know that... What I'm looking for is what percent. I'm looking for P. And I can pretty easily see that 1.5 is the portion and 25 is the whole. So I know two out of the three variables and I'm supposed to solve for that third variable, the percentage. Well, let's put our formula down. A equals P times W. And we're trying to solve for P. So if I'm trying to solve for P, I want to isolate P. I need to get rid of that W. So I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by W, which will get rid of the W on this side. But it'll leave A divided by W, because I had to, to divide both sides by W. A divided by W equals P. Now, I, can, I know A, and I know W, so I can substitute those in, 1.5 divided by 25, and that equals 0 0.06. But they're asking me for a percentage. What percentage? They're not asking me for a decimal. So I got to convert 0 0.06 into a, into a percentage. And to do that, I just move the decimal 2 to the right. And 0 0.06 becomes 6%. Well, let's try another one. What if the problem were 1.5 is 6% of what number? Well... Again, I know the percent, and 1.5 is 6% of what number? What number would be the whole? So I've got to, I know, I'm trying to solve for W, and I know A. Now I've got A equals P times W, but I'm trying to solve for what number or the whole. So I've got to isolate that W, which means I've got to get rid of that times P. And to get rid of a times P, I've got to divide both sides of the equation by P. When I do that, I leave just W on the right, and I've got A divided by P on the left. I know what A is. It's 1.5. I know what P is. It's 
And 1.5 divided by 0.06 is 25. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Twenty-eight is what percent of one forty-five? Well, what do we know? Let's think. Twenty-eight. That must be the portion. They're asking us for the percent, and that must be the whole. So I know A, and I know W, and I'm going to solve for P. So I know A equals P times W, and twenty-eight is the portion. So I put twenty-eight where the A was. I don't know P, I'm trying to solve for that, and I substitute 145 for W. Now, I want to isolate the P, which means I've got to get rid of the times 145, so I've got to divide by 145 on both sides of the equation. When I do that, my 145s are going to cancel each other out and leave just P, and 28 divided by 145 is .192. But 0 0.192 is a decimal, not a percentage, and they're asking us for a percentage. So I've got to move the decimal place two to the right, and it becomes 19.2 percent. Forty-five percent of the kids at camp were boys. There were 90 boys. How many kids were at the camp? And then the second question, how many girls are at the camp? Well, let's think about that. Let's see UCC. I know two things. I know two numbers. I know 90, that's the number of boys, and I know 45%. That's the percent of the total that were boys. So I know A, or the portion, and I know P, and I'm going to solve for the whole. How many kids were at camp? Well, Put down the equation, A equals P times W, and then substitute what we know. We know A, so we'll put a 90 there where A was, and we know the percent, which is 45%, but we'll convert that to 0.45, the decimal equivalent, and substitute that for P, and we don't know W, we're going to have to solve for that. If I want to solve for W, I need to isolate it, I need to get rid of that 0.45, so I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 0.45. And on the right, it's going to leave just W, and on the left, it's going to equal 90 divided by 0.45. And 90 divided by 0.45 is 200. So there were 200 kids at camp, and 90 of them were boys. How many were girls? Well, there's a couple ways we could solve that. Probably the easiest is to just take the, the total number of, of people at camp and subtract the number of boys, and that'll leave the number of girls. The percent equation. I hope you learned a lot. That's not that hard. If you just remember that A equals P times W, a portion equals the percent times the whole, you can solve an awful lot of problems. Well, let's see how many problems you can solve. Go to www.mastermath.info and download the worksheet, The Percent Equations. After you've tried that worksheet, go back to Master Math and try the quiz on The Percent Equation. And after you've done that, come back and see us again.